Is Shisui really dead? Shisui Uchiha, or Shisui of the Body Flicker, was a prodigy of the Uchiha clan. The said clan produced some of the best shinobi, and Shisui was among the best. Not only did he befriend and become a brother-like figure to Itachi Uchiha, but he also trained him later. Despite garnering a large fan base, little was shown of the Uchiha. In the anime, he was not given much screen time and was mostly talked about by other characters or in flashbacks. Soon it was revealed that Shisui had passed away and left Itachi with his legacy. This had fans wondering whether Shisui is truly dead in Naruto. As aforementioned, given whatever we know, Shisui Uchiha is dead in Naruto. He took his own life by jumping into the Naka River after giving Itachi his Mangekyo Sharingan. If one does a background check on him, it would reveal that the Uchiha Shinobi was a brilliant student. He graduated from the academy during the Third Great Ninja War. A year later, during a mission, Shisui witnessed the death of his best friend. This event invoked a deep feeling of pain and regret within him, which led him to awaken his Mangekyo Sharingan. Some time later, he met Itachi Uchiha, a five-year-old at the time. The two became the best of friends and formed a brother-like bond. Shisui trained the young boy in the ninja ways familiar to him and taught Itachi various techniques. All the while, Shisui's name started to attract attention, given his use of the body flicker technique, which utilized chakra to vitalize the body and move at extreme speeds temporarily. Such was his mastery of the technique that he came to be known as Shisui of the body flicker. Shisui was later instructed by the leaf police to observe Itachi after the latter began behaving oddly. This was due to Itachi's anbu position being crucial to Uchiha's future status in Konoha. But they were unaware of the relationship the two Uchiha shared. Meanwhile, the Uchiha clan began to grow increasingly frustrated at the Leafs' distrust in them following the Nine-Tailed Fox incident. This led Shisui to approach the third Hokage, Hiruzen Sarutobi, and explain the situation to him. Please, wait. If I may, I think I have an alternative. There's a plan I'd like to try if you'll let me. A plan, you say? This is a waste of time. There are no other options right now. What is this plan, Shisui? I will use my Mangekyo Sharingan on the clan. <gasps> Do you truly understand what you are saying? You'll forever be branded with the sin of using the Jutsu against your own clan. I understand. But still, it's worth it to protect what I hold dear. Lord Third, please. Hiruzen chose to trust Shisui as he was Kagami's descendant and allowed him to spy on his clan. The Uchihas, being undeterred by the coup d'etat and its consequences, put Shisui in a tight spot. Remember, there is still some time for all of us to think of other alternatives. Understood, Shisui. No regrets. I'll use my shotting gun and cast an illusion on everyone to stop the coup. Therefore, he decided to utilize his Kotoa Matsukami on Fugaku Uchiha to end the coup d'etat plan. But this will keep you together as a family. That's what's most important. For that, I'll do anything. That means the person behind this is... Very fast. Well-reasoned. Shisui of teleportation. Tanzo. All of you just stay back. What's the meaning of this? Why are you getting in my way? 
Koto Amats Kame, a visual jutsu that creates false experiences. Such incredible power, but what a waste to use it merely to stop a coup. How unfortunate that an Uchiha doesn't know how to use the Sharingan. <clears throat> if you used your visual jutsu on the clan, as long as the Uchiha clan exists, it's highly doubtful that another coup can be avoided. And even if your plan worked, it is only for this instance. There is no guarantee that the same thing will not happen again. On the contrary, it probably will happen again. Sooner or later, the Hidden Leaf Village will have to deal with the Uchiha. If so, by exterminating the Uchiha now, the future of the village will be secure, don't you think? Danzo, you were plotting this all along. This is all for the sake of attaining true peace for the Leaf. Shisui, do not worry. I will make good use of your eyes. How persistent you are. You've earned your reputation as the strongest of the Uchiha. I suppose I must force an opportunity upon you. That's one down. I can't let this happen. <laughs> Mordanzo! Get him! He couldn't have gone too far, after all. Yes, yes sir! This is it. Shisui Uchiha. I... Aim for the legs, not the face. Right. Now. I'm not... finished yet. Something didn't feel right, so I came back. Glad you did. Sorry for the trouble. The Foundation is involved. Unfortunately, it seems like there's no way to stop the Uchiha's coup. If internal warfare breaks out in the Leaf, the neighboring countries will invade, and war will begin. I was planning on using Kotoa Matsukami to stop the coup, but Danzo took my right eye. He 
didn't trust what I was trying to do. And he will resort to anything to protect the Hidden Leaf Village. They'll probably come after my left eye, too. Before that happens, I want you to have it. Shisui. You're really the only friend I can trust. Protect the village, and the Uchiha name as well. isn't the only thing that I need to give you. I'm going to give you a new power, too. The Mangekyo Sharingan. Uh, Shisui, you can't. I'm not going to last long, anyway. Take it as a gift, my dying wish. <laughs> What's with that look of yours? Even like this, I can still see your face easily, you know. A worried expression just doesn't look good on you. You must always remain calm, my friend. That's what Itachi Uchiha is. I'm positive you can do this. So don't worry. It'll be fine. I will carry on your will. For the Uchiha. From now on, you may be forced to walk down a long, dark path. One that's filled with pain and suffering. I have to apologize that I can't be with you through it all. Still, I hope you don't falter from your path and keep moving forward as a leaf ninja. I believe in you. That is why I'm able to ask you to carry my will and the Mangekyo. Thank you. For everything. I guess this is the end of the road for me, but this will pave a new way for you and give you new power. Well, Itachi, now the time has come. Make a new way for yourself with your own hands. You can do it. I know you can. Shisui entrusts his legacy and left eye to Itachi before taking the plunge into the Naka River. Elsewhere, Danzo Shimura believed that such a plan wouldn't suffice, which led to the possibility of Shisui manipulating others as the former plotted to take the Uchiha's eyes for himself. While it was an easy task to take on Danzo initially, the elder managed to edge him and took his right eye. However, Shisui managed to escape he entrusted his left eye to Itachi, fearing that Danzo might be right and would come for his other eye. He left a suicide note about his inability to carry out the mission and the clan's narrow-mindedness to understand and accept peace. Following this, he took the plunge into the Naka River and made it seem like his left eye was destroyed in the process. Shisui's death was successful in awakening Itachi's Mangekyo Sharingan, which was the former's end goal. Given the events in Naruto, it can be stated that by jumping into the river, Shisui took his own life. However, there is a catch. The shinobi's body was never found, leading to the speculations surrounding his death. Another interesting debate revolved around why Shisui wasn't revived during the Fourth Great Ninja War. Nonetheless, so far it can be assured that Shisui Uchiha is not alive in Naruto. However, with the technological advancement shown in Boruto, and given how Koji Kashin, or Jiraiya's clone, was created, the possibility of Shisui coming back for a proper arc in the storyline will not be surprising. And as always, this is Verstube, signing off.